Have you completed your commercial pilot's license and now want to become a flight instructor? Then this video is for you. Welcome aviators! So great to have you guys back ready to consume some aviation content. If you're new here, on this channel I take the mystery out of the aviation industry, so consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. This week I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about how to become a flight instructor. We will talk about prerequisites, requirements, costs, and stick around to the end where I'll give you some pro tips. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, why should you even become a flight instructor? It has many advantages, but the most important one being, it will help you find your first job. With the current pilot shortage, flight schools are having a difficult time keeping flight instructors because they are all leaving to the regionals. So currently, flight instructors are in high demand. Other advantages include building your flight hours and experience. To be able to teach someone to fly, you need to know the material yourself really well, and that keeps you constantly learning, studying, and improving yourself. Airlines love hiring flight instructors because they are disciplined, motivated, and know how to learn, making them great candidates for the airlines to mold to their operation. Another advantage is networking and meeting other pilots and flight instructors to be able to build your aviation network. So much in aviation is influenced by who you know and having connections across the aviation community will be able to help you land a job you might otherwise never get. So what are the prerequisites? First, you need your commercial pilot's license. Because you will be making money as a flight instructor, the only way you can do that legally is to be a commercial pilot. Versus someone with a private pilot's license cannot charge money legally for their services. You also need your category one medical, but you should already have that as part of your commercial pilot's license. Now, what are the requirements to become a flight instructor? You need a minimum of 30 hours of dual flight training, including five hours of instrument training. You need to complete a 25 hour ground school, then pass a Transport Canada written exam and a flight test. The cost to complete your flight instructor rating will vary depending on the flight school and their rates, but the average cost will be between nine and $10,000. These costs are based on the minimum flight time requirements, so expect to pay maybe a little bit more if you need more practice. The costs will also vary on your commitment level and whether you study full-time. If you do study full-time, you can expect to finish your flight instructor rating in four to five months. The reason it takes so long is because it takes time for you to learn how to teach, to prepare all of your lesson plans and satisfactorily teach them. Learning to teach takes time and lots of practice to be able to correctly present the information to a new student and make it easy enough for them to understand. Teaching is a skill, just like flying, and it takes work and dedication to become good at it. One of the reasons I started this YouTube channel is to be able to continue teaching and passing on my knowledge and experience to the next generation of pilots. So lastly, let me give you some pro tips that will help you start your flight instructing career. 1. When picking a flight school, ask them whether they can offer you a job if you complete your flight instructor rating with them. This can benefit both parties, as the flight school will teach you to their standards and be able to offer quality flight instructing to their students, and you will benefit by having a guaranteed job, assuming you pass the training and you won't have to go looking for that first job. 2. If you want to build hours faster, look for a flight instructing job in a smaller town, because you will have less flight instructors there competing for the students and end up flying more. You might also get a higher salary because they will need to pay more to attract flight instructors to their school. 3. The last tip is to work your butt off. Dedicate two years to working as much as possible to build your flight time, study constantly, and keep working towards your ATPL. The regional airlines in Canada are hiring with a thousand hours or less, so the faster you can get there, the faster you can start building your seniority at the airlines. So I hope this video gave you the information you needed to be able to start your training to become a flight instructor. It's a rewarding, challenging, and great way to build your hours and experience as a new pilot. If you have any more questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. As always, smash like, subscribe, 
and I'll see you in the next episode.